Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Amanda, and I am the creator behind Birch and Lily. I dye yarn, I podcast, I do all sorts of things. Uh, there are multiple places you can find me on the internet. You can find those all down below in the description. And yeah, I'm trying to make these intros fast, so let's jump on in. As you can tell, I'm very warm. I have many finished objects to show. I have some announcements first though. So instead of melting to death, I'm going to take this off and we'll talk about them later. <laughs> I just, usually when I finish something, I'm like, let's wear it. But there's so many things and then it's also so warm out right now. Granted, I'm wearing a sweater still like a crazy person, but uh, what we do for podcasting, right? <laughs> so, like I said, I have some announcements. First of all, I have a shop update coming up in birchandlilyfiber.com. I have been previewing all of the new colorways on my Instagram page, but I will also, hopefully after this, I'll record a video, which won't be connected to this one, but we'll go up later this week, of all of the colorways. Um, Yes. I was going to say if I don't do that, I'll make a post in the community tab, but no. I'm going to make a video. I think everything's wound and ready to go now, so keep an eye out for that as well. I'll probably put it up. The update is on, did I say? The update is on this Saturday, April 30th at 2 p.m. Eastern time, so I'll try and have the video up either Thursday or Friday, more likely Friday, at some point during the day, showing you everything that will be in the shop. Second thing, super exciting, I am hosting along with Tracy of Grizzly Knits my very first make-along, and I'm so excited to be doing this. Um, so yeah, let's jump into <laughs> the information for that. The make-along is going to be called the Bloom Baby Bloom make-along. Um, the hashtag, I'll put it across the screen, it'll be in the description as well, is going to be hashtag Bloom Baby Bloom Mel. And basically, what it's going to be is from May 1st to July 1st of this year, 2022, um, we are going to be knitting floral-themed products. So it can have flowers on it, it can have flowers in the project name. Um, if you can convince me <laughs> that it has something to do with flowers, it'll probably be good to go. Of course, we have the hashtag. We're also going to open up a Ravelry group about the make-along as well. Um, I'm not sure if Tracy's doing that or me. I feel like she's more active on Ravelry, but I'm not sure. We'll get in... We'll get that figured out <laughs> um, before everything starts May 1st. Um, I'm just going to check my notes here. So works in progress are allowed, but no more than 25% of your project can be done. Otherwise, start the project on May 1st and you'll be eligible for entry. Um, and the other thing, prizes. Uh, I will be donating some of my yarn. Tracy makes gorgeous stitch markers. She's going to be donating some of those, but we're also willing to have other people donate prizes. So if that's something you would be interested in sponsoring a prize for our make along, we would love to hear from you. You can email me. Uh, my email is always down below in the description. Send me an email there if you're interested in donating a prize, and I would love to talk to you about that. So yeah, I think that is everything. I don't see anything missing from my notes. So please join us in our make along. I would love so much if you joined. I am planning on casting on, I'll pop a picture on the screen. I don't know if you've seen the pressed flowers shawl. I love it. And when Tracy came up with this idea, I was like, well, that's exactly what I'm going to knit because I've been wanting to knit it for so long. So. Did I mention knit or crochet? I don't think I mentioned that. You can knit, you can crochet. Make something with yarn. <laughs> Anyways, back to my shawl. Um, so I have ordered some yarn for that, um, for the main color, and then I had something here that I think might, fingers crossed, work for the contrast color. It's like a creamy, slightly green DK white yarn with sparkle. And I think for the flowers that would look really cool. So hopefully the two yarns match. <laughs> um, I'm crossing my fingers. The main color should be here soon. So I'm very excited and I hope you will join us. Um, yeah, that, that was loud. 
because that's also it for announcements. <laughs> Sorry. Um, let's jump into finished objects. Like I said, I have tons of finished objects. I have three, which is exciting. I feel like this happens to me all the time. Like I don't finish anything for a long time and I'm jumping around to a whole bunch of stuff and then suddenly I'm like, let's finish these projects. So that is what I did. Um, also, one of said finished objects was done two weeks ago, but I forgot to show it and I don't know why. <laughs> so we will look at that as well. But first of all, I finished my brioche and mystery and it is massive. <laughs> um, you saw me wearing it at the beginning, but there's like no way this is going to fit on the screen. <laughs> it's so big. I am so in love with this. I, okay, first of all, I blocked it, well I soaked it, and then I was able to put it through my spin dryer. If I talked about this, I purchased for the yarn company a spin dryer, and it's amazing, and I love it so much. My yarn dry, my yarn dries <laughs> so, so fast now with the spin dryer, but I put this through there, and it's magic. It was almost dry. It was dry the next day. I this thing so much. <laughs> Anyways, let me, we'll scooch my chair and I will try, let's see, oh, okay, I can, yes, I can fit it in the screen. Here we go. This is my brioche and mystery. Do you notice that blue border around the whole thing? That's because I'm nuts. The pattern called for it and I was like, yeah, that'll look really cool. I did an eye cord around this whole shawl. Shockingly, it didn't take as long as I expected it would but I still can't believe I did it. <laughs> um, but look, oh, look how stunning this is. Oh my gosh, guys. If you haven't knit, this is my first, let me sit down. I, I think I've shown it enough. Hey, if you haven't knit any of Suzanne Summer's patterns before, you have to. I already have a list going of a whole bunch of new ones I want to knit now. Um, but this was, first of all, very well written. Um, it used, do I have, the project bag was in here. I don't know if I do. I do. Perfect. I can show you. I barely had any yarn left. I was really impressed. And like, I think what I have left is enough for me to make a pair of scrappy socks, which is kind of what I want to do. Um, oh, what's the pattern called? In bloom. Ooh, that might work for the make along. Anyways, um, Maybe if I remember, I'll put a picture on the screen. If I don't, you'll see it when I cast them on. But that's all I have left, which really, that's not that bad. This here is uh, Sugar Plum Circus Yarn in Sea Glass. And then these three are all from Hey Sister Yarn Co. They don't die anymore. This one is called Queen Buttercup, Matte Lip, and Halcon. Also, did we notice I've perfected the lighting now? And I'm very pleased. So I can give you super color accurate videos. <laughs> Cause these are like basically dead on and I'm so happy. <laughs> um, but yeah, I really don't have that much left and I'm pretty pleased with that. Um, I'm glad I did decide to do the I-cord border just cause it, there's not tons of the blue throughout all of this. So it just gives a little pop of it around the whole shawl. Um, I did knit this with a 3.25 millimeter a US 3 needle. I think the pattern called for 3.5. I couldn't tell you what the US number is off the top of my head. Um, but everything else I did to pattern, um, except for the baubles. I did do crochet baubles on this and I much, much prefer how those look to a regular knit bobble. If you're interested on how to do that, I do have a tutorial up on my channel. Um, there's a playlist for knitting tutorials and you'll find it in there. Um, but yeah, I just, I'm so happy. <laughs> I'm covering my face because it's so large, but this is beautiful. But then again, it's so large, I don't know where I'm gonna wear it. <laughs> and it's getting warm. So I think for the time being, it's just gonna get sadly, maybe I'll, hang it off the back of my chair or something for a while so I can see it but um it's gonna get put away because it's Michigan and it's gonna get humid and I'm gonna die so I'm I'm excited though 
because I will be back in Canada in July and I can get a break from the humidity. <laughs> so we're holding out for that. Holding out for that. I we're gonna get into a weather tangent here. I love I love the weather here. I love that it's warmer. I love that the winter's not so long. I love that I still have a bit of winter, but the humidity, I can't handle the humidity. I was not made for humidity. I was made for Alberta weather. <laughs> I grew up in Alberta. I'm looking forward to spending some of my summer there this year. So anyways, this is done. It's beautiful. I'm so pleased with it. Um, and I, I can't say I'll cast on another brioche project right away um, because it does take so much concentration. That's my only complaint about brioche is you have to concentrate. You can't just expect to watch TV and not have to pay attention to your knitting. It, it's not, it's not one of those projects, but it's wonderful and I love it. And let's just put that back there for now. Um, but yeah, that's finished object number one. Yesterday was like, and I still don't understand Fahrenheit. So yeah, it was like 30 degrees Celsius. And we said, you know what, we're not going to turn on the air conditioning because it's not worth it for just one day. We'll deal with it. We'll turn it on later because the next couple of days, next couple week, week or two from what we can tell is going to cool down again. I was so hot. Oh my goodness. I could not cool down. And I think I got dehydrated. And now my throat is super sore. Um, shouldn't complain. We went, we got supper because it was too hot to cook in the house. We got ice cream. It was lovely. Dairy Queen has right now, I think it's called Dirt Pile, but it's a blizzard with Oreo crumbles in it and tiny little gummy worms. I would highly recommend that thing is amazing. Amazing. Um, Another finished object I have, like I said, I forgot to show this last episode, um, but is my Corgi Caboodle. Look at it! <laughs> um, if you are new here, first of all, thank you for joining me. Um, but second, I have a Corgi. She is adorable. Her name is Leia. I don't know where she is right now. The door's open. She's welcome to come in, but she never seems to want to come in here for too long. She'll come in for a while. She likes to dig through the garbage can. <laughs> Um, I need to get a garbage can with a lid. Not that there's much she could eat, it's just she likes to... Oh, it's empty right now, it's garbage day. She likes to shred paper, so that's what she does. Um, sharp bit on my nail. Uh, but she comes in here for a little bit and she snoops, sees what's new, and then she goes, we have like a railing on our upper floor and you can look out the window at the front of the house, and she just lays there and looks outside. So. Anyways, I'm very tangenty today, um, but I did finish this. It's very cute. I stitched this up on 40 count bramble. I couldn't tell you what the pattern calls for. And I did use all the call for threads. I stitched one thread over two linen threads. And it calls for all DMC, which I do appreciate. So I need to frame this and put this somewhere in the house because it's adorable. I just look at their little smiles. <laughs> I stitched everything and once I had finished each corgi I had to put their smile in because they just look so sad without them but super cute excited to have a cross stitch project done because I feel like I just work on like massive things I say this every time um and then I never have finishes because it's just all massive stuff so the project bag this was in is I think this is pretty southern it's a smaller one but it was perfect for this project, so I'll take it out later. One more finished object. This, I think I showed last episode. I think I had just started it. It's a pattern I'm testing, or was testing, am testing. I haven't completely finished my notes on it yet, so I guess I'm still testing it. But this is the Kinder Cal. This is a pattern by Whimsy North. I do believe it's coming out, I think, April 29th. It's coming out this month. It will be out this month. So if you check out Whimsy Norse, I'm sure you can get information on that. Um, but I knit this out of some of my yarn. The solid color on this side here, well not solid, but with no color work, is my Lavender Fields colorway on Birch DK. 
And then in the color rig here, the light creamy color is just natural, also Birch DK. And the purple is Lace Cap Hydrangea. Uh, that's the colorway that is a part of the update that's coming on the 30th. So yeah, I'm really happy with it. This is, I gotta put it back on just to show. I find some cowls are too baggy. Like they just hang too low and they don't do anything. But like this one, I can tuck myself in and be all cozy warm if I wanted to. Now, granted, I'm not gonna use this until the fall, but I just think it's the perfect size. And you knit it in the round and then seam the edges together. So it's super warm because it's double thick, which I also really, really love. Uh, the pattern was beautiful. I loved it a lot. I didn't find any major issues, just like, I don't know why I'm saying this, but little things here and there that she will fix before she releases the pattern, of course, but I really highly recommend it, and I think you guys should knit it. Um, it's super cute. I did knit this on, again, a th apparently it's a popular needle size for me, a 3.25 millimeter US 3 needle. And I guess I'll announce it here on the podcast. Um, but as part of the update, April 30th, I think I have enough yarn to make two kits. Do I? Either way, I may have a couple kits that are ready to ship, but I definitely will have kits for this available for pre-order. Um, and they will hopefully only have a short turn around. Depends how the rest of the update goes, because everything in the update I have just small quantities of each colorway and then everything will be available for pre-order as well. So I'm aiming for only like three to four weeks for turnaround time. Um, now obviously there is the time in between there of ordering. I will get into logistics, but hopefully it would be a short turnaround time. I will know that exactly and it will be on the listing in the shop on Saturday, but I love this. I think it's really cute. I had a wonderful time knitting it and it's very squishy and warm and I love it. And yeah, like I said, grab the pattern. I believe it's the 29th. I need my notes in by the 27th. So it should be a day or two after that. So I apologize. My throat guys, my throat. Anyways, well, let's move into some works in progress. Um, this comes with a story. So this past Saturday, I was able to go visit Spun Ann Arbor um, with a friend of mine and we went and wandered around the yarn store and then went for lunch after and I realized when I got there I hadn't brought any knitting and she's like do you want to sit outside and knit for a while? She's like I didn't bring knitting! <laughs> so I purchased this gorgeous skein of yarn. This is from Wonderland Yarns. They have a whole bunch of these, they're all floral themed. This one is called Hydrangea. And my plan is to cast on really, really long socks. <laughs> so uh, what I did do, because I know I have larger calves and the leg of the sock has to fit over my large calves and then the rest of me is tiny. The, the rest of my leg is tiny. <laughs> what am I trying to say? My, I have large calves, my ankles and my feet are small. That's what I'm trying to say. Uh, so I did cast on 64 stitches. I'm gonna knit until I feel like they're long enough. And then I will decrease down to 56 stitches for like my ankle and my foot um, is the plan for so far. So that's what I have at this point. I, like I said, cast on 64 stitches. Look, it matches my nails. Okay, that's totally random and I didn't plan that. <laughs> um, I did a two by two rip for 20 rounds and then I've just been knitting, straight knitting. These are 2.25 millimeter US1 needles. I bought these at the store too because I didn't have needles either. So yeah, nothing, nothing crazy, but this is really the only other knitting I've been doing because the past two weeks I've been working on those other big projects and finished them and then I finished both of them like a couple days ago. So I have been knitting vanilla socks. I also love that it comes already caked up. So I'm getting close to a color change. It's really a really subtle fade. Like, I don't even know if you can tell. Uh, kind of how it fades into that blue. 
it's really subtle and then eventually it hits the green so I'm trying to decide too and let me know what you think if I should knit all the way down to the foot and then should I start the next sock at the foot and go up so that it like stops in one color and then moves over the other foot and goes up or do I start both at the cuff let me know what you think I'm not sure. I, I don't know. And then the only other thing I've worked on, I haven't been in a super cross-stitchy mood lately. I have this beautiful bag. This is from Green Cottage Quilts. It's super cute. I love the little tassel. Um, it is a little bit smaller. I have... I hadn't purchased from this seller before. Um, and I did notice when I received it and I didn't really think ahead, but it is a s little bit smaller than my normal project bags. Um, so the paper does fit in it open, like the pattern paper, uh, but some of it gets cut off because it has to go under where the zipper is here. But in these ones, like I could leave the pattern open and be able to see the whole thing. So that's the only, I don't know if it's a complaint, but it's hard for me to see like that little bit of the edge of the pattern. And I really like to leave my patterns in here so they're protected behind the vinyl and look at them through the vinyl, if that makes sense. But beautiful bag otherwise very well made um and if that's something you don't care about too much I think you would love it and I probably I don't know I might purchase more they were really reasonably priced and they're very close to my location so it shipped fast which I loved um but I am using what am I doing that would help I am stitching this is the day by Plum Street Samplers uh, of course it's Plum Street Samplers because I, that's my favorite designer. Um, but yeah, I am using all of the Call for Threads. This is the most bright, rainbowy, gorgeous pattern. I, I don't know why there's one like that. Anyways, gorgeous colors, gorgeous, gorgeous colors, and so accurate because I finally figured out how to use my phone. Um, I'm stitching, <laughs> sorry, I'm stitching this on 40 count platinum linen. Uh, it is not what the pattern calls for. I never stitch on what the pattern calls for, if I'm being honest. Um, but I don't have tons done. I started this maybe last week when we were watching a movie, and I haven't really worked on it since. So, nothing crazy. Stitching it one over two. Like I said, 40 count platinum. And, yeah, I should pull that out again. Now that I've finished two projects that were like really big, the, the shawl and the cowl, I'm kind of at that point where I don't really know what I want to work on anymore. Um, so I need to, I'm, I'm, I'm in a cast on mood. I want to cast on old things and I don't, I don't want to look at the stuff I'm working on already, <laughs> which is terrible. So I don't know. I don't know. Um, yeah, that's, that's all I have to talk about for this episode, though. A little bit shorter of an episode, but I hope you enjoyed it nonetheless. I hope you enjoyed seeing my finished objects. Um, yeah, that's silly. I, I, I don't know what I'm saying. Anyways, uh, make sure you do check out the video with all the information about my shop update coming this weekend on the 30th of April, 2 p.m. Eastern Time. And I appreciate you so much. Thank you for joining me. If you haven't subscribed already, make sure you do so. I know that like, I think 30% of you watching are not subscribed. So you should do that. Um, it helps me out a lot and it helps with the algorithm a lot. So I would appreciate that. Like the video too, turn on notifications so you make sure you know when I upload and I will see you all again in two weeks. Bye. <music>